I got something new today. It is the Roadrunner California bar bag. As you can see on the table here, I have the small guy, burrito, burrito supreme. And let me show you something I just found out about this bag. And I didn't know this in my previous video, which is the Ornot versus the Roadrunner, that these guys are handmade in the USA. That's a plus, I like that. Let's see if the Ornot's made, handmade in the USA. I got it right here, let's take a look. Made in the USA, all right, all right. Made in the USA, there you go. If you wanna see my video comparing the two, I'll put it in the description, go check it out. But today, we're gonna to look at all three models of the Roadrunner. I got this guy, the new one. I'm gonna unbox it right now for you. Uh, it's not gonna be much of an unboxing. I think it's just in this bag, but we're gonna do that. I have all three models here. We're gonna compare them like I just said, but this is brand new. I couldn't find any other videos of it online. So let's, uh, let's see, let's see what we got here. Got it in navy blue. Here we go. Ooh. This one has side pockets, as you can see here. Not bad. Let's see, we can get the phone in. Phone, oh, I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna like this bag. What I don't like about this bag, as you can check in the other video that I that I put out, is I don't like this, this Velcro here. I really don't like it, this Velcro. I took, off, I took this pull cord off of the or not bag and put it on here, but I think I'm gonna be putting it on this bag. Now, I'm gonna bring my Amanda over and we're gonna see how she fits on my Amanda because I'm worried. What they've done that's really good is it's roughly, it's a little bit bigger diameter because the problem is if it goes too low, it's gonna hit the wheel. We're gonna measure all these guys. We're gonna get the tape measure out. But first, let's put it on the bike. Let's see what it looks like on the bike. What I love about this bag is it has adjustable straps. You can see that you can put them in and in each place here so you can fit it on your bar. You can center it on your bar easily and I love that. Let's put it on here. Strap two, and as you can see, this is what it looks like. I love it though, it's big, look at this. That's a great bag. This is gonna be my go-to bag. This is gonna be the one that I use all, all the time. I love these pockets on the side. Let's take a look. Here's some bars. These are UCAN bars. I'm gonna be put, I'm gonna be doing a video on this nutrition product. Watch for that. But what's great is you can stick you can stick these bars. Look at how many bars you can stick in the side pocket here. All right. Now that we got all three bags on the table here, let me tell you what I don't like about it. There's only one thing that I dislike about the bag. It's not really that big a big of a deal, but I'll show you. These straps right here. They just, they, they fall out a little too easy. I mean, this one's better, as you can see right there. It fell out. But they use Velcro straps on this bag, and they're completely, you see how they stick in? If they put a little bit of Velcro on the middle there, it would have been a lot better. Uh, it would have kept the, kept the straps from falling off. I find that a little bit of an irritation taking the bag on and off that the straps fall out. But other than that, I really enjoy this bag. I bought this bag, the burrito, the small one. This is the first one that I purchased. And in my opinion, I wouldn't purchase this bag. It's too small to put anything of worthwhile in. So I bought the next one up, which is this. And actually the next one I bought was the Ornot. And I really enjoyed that bag. And then I purchased this one because I wanted to do a, re a review on the two. And I like this bag much better because I found it's a little bigger. And now that I have this, <laughs> this big boy, I think especially winter riding, spring riding, uh, I'm gonna take this away on my training camps with me. I can put my camera gear in here stuff like this I bet this would almost fit a drone I'd love to know but let's see exactly how big this thing is it, it, it's massive I bet it, we could actually stuff this bag in there the, the the smaller one and I really enjoy that it has that it has the side pockets and if you could see what they did here it's actually really smart what they did is they put the pockets on an angle to the zipper because the zipper sticks out a little sticks out on the front and that's what i like a lot more than than the or not is how forward that the zipper is and when it's on the bike the zipper is more forward like this so it's not in front of the in front of the garmin mount and you can stick your hand 
I can't wait to get out and start testing this bag. I really love it. These side pockets, I can't wait to use. I can already tell they're 10 times better than the Ornot ones. Let me show you why. So if you take a look at these two pockets, let me show you the problem with these Ornot pockets. Look at how wide the pocket is down here, but look at how narrow the opening is. So what these guys did is they have a much bigger opening, as you can see here, and that allows you to put way much, way more stuff in. So if you look here, I got a bar. You can, like I said, wait for the video. One bar, two bars, three bars, blocks, blocks. Look at that. And that's only one side. All right, let's measure them real quick and see what we got here. Stanley Fat Max. Little guy's about eight and a half inches, as you can see by about three and a half, three and three quarters. About nine if it was packed out, a little less. We have about just under six inches wide. <laughs> Look at this big boy. All right, we got just under 10 inches, about nine and three quarters, and just under six inches. Yeah, so they're just about the same diameter eight and a quarter this is about an inch and a quarter wider hope you enjoyed the video as always if you found some value consider subscribing hit the like button if you liked it and we'll see you on the next video